Welcome back to Alternative Small Holding. It is Sunday now and we've come up here to get a little bit of work done but not too much. Um, Rue was poorly on Friday night and I was poorly last night. I don't have much energy at all. I ate something I wasn't supposed to eat and I feel rubbish for it. But we've come up here, we've got some jobs that need to be done. I'm not going to do too much but saying that even as we arrived we did a massive list of everything we need to get done today because the weather is beautiful. It is a beautiful day today. It's warm and um, it's just glor it's glorious at this time of year when you do get these days. You think you can get some work done. Um, but the cold, cold weather will be with us soon enough. And then the snow and we can hunker down inside and actually take a break for a little bit. But for now, we're going to get some work done. So let's go and see what we've got to do. So I've just remembered to remind you that next Saturday, if you haven't seen our community post on our um, YouTube channel, next Saturday at 5 o'clock we are going to be doing a live. And so that's Saturday the 12th at 5 o'clock and it's a question and answer session as well as a Saturday shout out. So if you have any questions that you want to ask us, they don't have to be about gardening, just anything generally as long as it's family friendly then um, pop them in the comments below. We're already making a list of ones that we've got and we've got some really great ones. So we will see you soon. Hope to see you there. Five o'clock, Saturday the 12th. That's five o'clock GMT. So see you there. Beardy dude's already started on some tasks. Uh, this wire mesh definitely kept off Mr Fox. So he's put some more cardboard down and then put this trellis on. So we shall have that safe. And I want to do some mulch around the asparagus in this bed to see what we've got. So I'm gonna take this cardboard up and I may put some leaves or something over it for now because that's all we've got to hand but something's better than leaving their roots exposed so the roots of the couple of crowns we've got are coming out of the ground so we'll get those covered in too I'll give them the surface a little tickle um, to level it out because there are big holes where people are taking out the crowns um, the only crowns that I can find in here are I think there's two here basically I think that's all that's left so it does mean that we can use the rest of the bed for something else but what I'm going to do for now is I'm just going to take up all the leaves that we had raked up round by our strawberry bed and I'm going to dump them on the top of here as a mulch and protect it a little bit over winter. So let's go and get some mulch and get this covered. I'm coming, I'm going to show them. Look at this. <laughs> You're determined to get it out, aren't you, with no tools? It's stuck in there good. Is it good? Yes. Stuck good. Do you have a big sledgehammer? You could do it. We don't have any tools here today, really. You just have to leave it for another day. Or you can karate kick it. <laughs> right. I think you should give that up for now. Give it up for now. Right. Mulchy time. these unexposed here so that they're getting the light that they need and then everywhere else I have covered in mulch and then put some cardboard back over the top right we've got a new birdhouse the actual birdhouse itself is fine but it needs a new base so we're gonna get this fixed and then we can start feeding the birdies which is important Right now, I am going to tackle the perennial herb bed, which is here. I'm going to dig out all of these rogue raspberry canes that have come up, or just pull them up. And what I'm actually going to do, 
because this is going to be a perennial bed so the plants are going to stay in here for good I'm actually going to dig this okay, I'm going to dig out all the perennial weeds and level it all out again because I want to take out as much of any problems that we're going to have now and then it can rest and stay as a perennial bed that won't have the earth disturbed although that may seem like a strange thing to do because we're no dig then some people actually say that you should do a first dig on something like this if it's got a lot of weeds in if you're actually going to use it as a perennial bed because otherwise that plants that you put in there they're going to become overtaken by the weeds so I'm going to start on that if I've got the energy and bearded dude is going to do this he's going to start levelling out these beds um, and we'll get some muck on them yes yes we will yes but in the meantime I am going to go and try and find my fork and I'm going to do this the beardy dude's doing some digging for me because I'm feeling a bit fragile let me just show you the state of this it's winter, dear child. You're soaking. It's not cold. I'm not cold. You will be in a bit. Well. I'm almost done. This is a job that I wish I hadn't started today. <laughs> you okay? Especially as that is what I'm working with. really need good hand tools. I used to have some, I have no idea where they are now. Well basically I've been tickling through the surface, getting out the main bits. <laughs> so this couch grass is a pain, but I'm getting the main stuff out the surface and then I've been digging down a bit by hand and pulling out any individual roots. Time consuming, we've lost the sun, it's going dark, but I'm one of those people that once you start a job you should finish it. There we go, that will do. One perennial herb bed finished. Well done, bearded dude. Did a thing. He did a thing. So, on the plan, this is going to be beetroot next year. So we're not going to manure the ground. Um, beetroot, carrots, parsnips, any root vegetable, don't manure the ground before. So we're just going to cover it with cardboard. We're going to need more than one layer because that's a mistake we made last time, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So we've got some work done. Beardy Dude is just going to finish covering that bed and I am going to go and put in the two herbs that I brought from home. Let's go do that. So I brought two plants from home. We've got oregano and thyme. Now, this is stage one of reclaiming the garden from the chickens. Our chickens absolutely love to eat these plants and I have not stopped them doing it because Oregano and thyme have really good health benefits for chickens. It helps, oregano specifically helps with respiratory illnesses and they both um, promote good gut bacteria. They um, are just general health and well-being boosting, good egg laying, natural holistic herbs. And I have never had a problem with them eating them, but my thyme now is starting to look a bit um, munched. And my oregano could do with some more life. <laughs> So I'm going to bring them here and what I'm going to do is I, over the winter now, I'm going to use dried herbs in their food rather than letting them graze these. And then come the spring, I will start drying them and giving them our own homegrown organic herbs again. I'm actually going to get some more plants as well and I'll keep them in um, the front garden in raised um, locations. But I will do some more information at some point on herbs and natural things that we use for our chickens. Um, but for now, 
I'm going to trim all this dead growth back and get these both in the ground. Okay? <laughs> these are not the ideal secateurs to be using for this job. My tail fell off. Your tail's fallen off. Oh gosh. Gotta fix it. That will do. That'll do. Let's see what it does. So I'm gonna get these in the ground and um, get them some water because remember it may be winter but they do need water to settle them in nicely. What I'm doing is because this end up here, this here where the um, mm, be, 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 oregano is currently sitting, that's the area that had quite a bit of cooch grass in up to here. So I am putting the thyme in here and then the oregano is going on that side of it. So I'm actually going to keep the bit that had the cooch grass in, I'm going to keep that as an annual herb bed. That should do both. Um, so that means that I can keep on top of any cooch grass that's coming back. Come on then, have you got it ready? Yeah, but just need to get this leaf out. Okay. Dad. So Rue has come up with a good idea. When she's got water in her sink, what are you going to do underneath? Ugh. You're going to put the water and can under there, aren't you? Yep. Go on then. Should I? Yeah. Brilliant. And what are you going to do with that? I'm going to actually use it for um, using to water the plants. Yeah. We're going to do this all the time. If we're going to... Let let the rain water drip in for next time, and then we can use it. You need to put your plug back in then. Ooh. Put your plug back in. So, um, and you're going to water the herbs with the water that you saved. Yep. Let's go. Happy. All the way around. It's a bit <laughs> <laughs> Right, that's us for the day, I think. Are you ready to go, Missy? Yeah, yeah. That's your microphone, okay. So today we've sorted the asparagus bed. Bearded Dude has raked over where all the beetroots go next year, levelled that out and recovered it with cardboard. Um, he's recovered this bed down here that you can't see right now with cardboard and I have weeded the perennial herb bed and planted the thyme and oregano that we have which is to be rescued from our chickens at home. So yeah, I think that's going to do for today. I need to go home and get a coffee and then um, we will see you all next time. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.